Okay, we're going to learn about expressions, and specifically we're going to talk about expressions that involve addition and subtraction. So let's start off with Angela and Bill. Let's say they're brother and sister, and uh, when Angela is seven years old, Bill is ten. All right, so we can see that Bill is three years older than Angela. So when Angela is 13 years old, then Bill will be 16 years old because he's still going to be three years older than Angela. And lastly, let's go back in time. So when Angela was five years old, Bill was eight years old. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Now, a little sneaky thing is, well, what if we don't know Angela's age? What if Angela is N years old? Uh, how old will Bill B. Well, we know that Bill is always three years older than Angela, so Bill's age is n plus three. And this is called a variable expression because we don't know this Bill's specific age, like uh, you know, eight or sixteen or ten. Um, so we just know that he is going to be three years older than Angela, and if Angela is n, then Bill has to be n plus three. Um, similarly, if we were to go back in time, and let's say, uh, uh, go the other way, let's say Bill is uh, Y years old. Well, if Bill is Y years old, then Angela will be Y minus three years old because Angela is always three years less than Bill. And so that's how, that's one way to see how to write expressions using addition and subtraction. All right, so suppose Alan is eight years old. All right, so one question would be, well, how old is Alan in five years? Well, if Alan is currently eight, then in five years, he will be eight plus five years old. Then the question might be, well, how old will he be in X years? So we still know that Alan is currently eight years old, but in X years, so X years from now in the future, he will be eight plus X years old. Now this thing right here, this is called a numerical expression. Numerical expression. And this thing over here is called a variable expression. This is called a numerical expression because it's got only numbers, 8 and 5. And this is called a variable expression because it involves a variable. In this case, the variable is x.